Thank you for joining me for another reading through the Bible in chronological order. Today we're reading from Psalms, Psalm 32, Psalm 51, Psalm 86, and Psalm 122. Psalm 32 of David of Maskell. How joyful is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. How joyful is a person whom the Lord does not charge with iniquity and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones became brittle from my groaning all day long. For day and night, you ha your hand was heavy on me. My strength was drained as in the summer's heat, Selah. When I acknowledged my sin to you and did not conceal my iniquity, I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin, Selah. Therefore, let everyone who is faithful pray to you immediately. When great floodwaters come, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with joyful shouts of deliverance, Selah. I will instruct you and show you the way to go. With my eye on you, I will give counsel. Do not be like a horse or mule without understanding. That must be controlled with bit and brittle, or else it will not come near you. Many pains come to the wicked, but the one who trusts in the Lord will have faithful love surrounding him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones. Shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Psalm 51. For the choir director, a psalm of David, when the prophet Nathan came to him after he had gone to Bathsheba. Be gracious to me, God, according to your faithful love, according to your abundant compassion, blot out my rebellion. Completely wash away my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. For I am conscious of my rebellion, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, I have sinned and done this evil in your sight. So you are right when you pass sentence, and you are blameless when you judge. Indeed, I was guilty when I was born. I was sinful when my mother conceived me. Surely you desire integrity in the inner self, and you teach me wisdom deep within. Purify me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out all my guilt. God, create a clean heart for me and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore, restore the joy of your salvation to me and sustain me by giving me a willing spirit. And then I will teach the rebellious your ways, and sinners will return to you. Save me from the guilt of bloodshed, God, God of my salvation, and my tongue, and will sing of your righteousness. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not want a sacrifice, or I would give it. You are not pleased with a burnt offering. The sacrifice pleasing to God is a broken spirit, and you will not despise a broken and humbled heart, God. In your good pleasure, cause Zion to prosper, build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in righteous sacrifices, whole burnt offerings, and bulls will be offered on your altar. Psalm 86, A Prayer of David Listen, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Protect my life, for I am faithful. You are my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant's life, because I appeal to you, Lord. For you, Lord, are, read, are kind and ready to forget, abounding in faithful love to all who call on you. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cries for mercy. I call on you in the day of my distress, for you will answer me. Lord, there is no one like you among the gods, and there are no works like yours. 
All the nations you have made will come and bow down before you, Lord, and will honor your name. For you are great and perform wonders. You alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, and I will give, I will live by your truth. Give me an undivided mind to fear your name. I will praise you with all my heart, Lord, my God, and will honor your name. For your faithful love for me is great, and you rescue my life from the depths of Sheol. God, arrogant people have attacked me. A gang of ruthless men intends to kill me. They do not let you guide them. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger and abounding in faithful love and truth. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the son of your female servant. Show me a sign of your goodness. My enemies will see and be put to shame because you, Lord, have helped and comforted me. Psalm 122, a song of the sense of David. I rejoiced with those who said to me, let's go to the house of the Lord. Our feet were standing within your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem built as a city should be solidly united where the tribes, the Lord's tribes, go up to give thanks to the name of the Lord. This is an ordinance for Israel. There, thrones for judgment are placed, thrones of the house of David. Pray for the well-being of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls, security within your fortresses. Because of my brothers and friends, I will say, may peace be in you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will pursue your prosperity. So these four psalms span, again, a broad gamut of emotion. The first two reflective, of course, on sin, the struggle of sin in the heart and the struggle of repentance till confession comes, then joy. The latter two psalms are songs of joy and praise of the peace of Jerusalem. And the result of all four of these attributed to David indicate the gamut of emotion that yesterday's reading must have no doubt flooded in the heart of David. Guilty of sin, a treacherous sin with Bathsheba and Uriah. But a promise that even David, the faithful one, could find forgiveness with God in spite of his sin. So reflecting on these Psalms and the exhortations implicit in them is for you and me a determination that when we do sin, we will confess, we will acknowledge our sin, we will repent, and with that have a promise that God will forgive. Join me for another reading tomorrow through the Bible in chronological order.